Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Taunton High School as the Hopkinton Hillers battle Taunton in the semifinals of the South Division I bracket. We are underway. Bree Marabli on the mound for the Hopkinton Hillers as she is pitching to center fielder Christine Wagner. And right now it is a one and one count. The wind up and the pitch on the ground, third base side, throw over to first. In time, one away. First out of the game, a five to three ground out for King Phillip, and that'll bring up Haley McCashlin. King Phillip, 20 and four overall, the Hopkinton Hillers, 19 and three. A nice sunny night here at Taunton High School. Is that pitch in there for a strike? Oh and one to McCashlin, the right fielder. Bradley set to deliver. Running start up high, ball one. One and one. Tom Nappy on the call here on a gorgeous evening. Hillers fighting to get into the championship game. And they are just one win away as their strike two. One and two the count. Mirabli deals, and that is hit off the shortstop's glove, and that is a single by McCashlin, a one-out single. It'll bring up Elise Pereira, the first baseman. Let's take a look at the Hillers field. Bree Mirabli on the mound behind home plate. Kate Wellzell, Isabel Holden at first base. As Mirabli is set to deal to Pereira. That pitch outside. Emily Whalen, the second baseman. Molly Bennett at short. Emma Murphy at third base. From left to right, Lindsey Whittles, Lily Morningstar, and Katie Hawley. That pitch outside got away from Wellzell. And McCashlin advances to second base on the wild pitch. The Hillers, they had some uh, good luck weather-wise. They were supposed to play this game a couple days ago. And that was just after back-to-back -back playoff games. It would have been their third day in a row playing as there's ball one. But fortunately for the Hillers, they were able to get a couple days off due to some questionable weather. And that is a walk to Pereira. Four straight balls from Rabley. And that'll bring up Brooke Tott, the left fielder. As Tott Set to step in and face Mirabli. Line up and the pitch, just outside. Ball one. A one and O oh count. And the sun just glaring down on that infield as it starts to set. There's strike one, one and one. And just a bit, we'll tell you about the road each team had to get to this point in the postseason. Wind up and the pitch, the bunt strike, and runner taking off from second, throw to third, and she's safe. Great jump in the air by Bennett, but she was unable to lay the tag down, and that's a stolen base for McCashlin. And it's also a double steal as Pereira took off as well for second base. Mirabli set to deal. Swinging strike. And that is going to be out number two. And that'll bring up Kaylee Bench, the designated player. As Mirabli set to deal to Bench. That pitch up high and outside. One and oh. Runners on second and third, two outs in the inning. And this is hit in the air right side and out of the reach of first baseman Isabel Holden. King Phillip, a very good offensive team, a lot of talented players and they have been a softball powerhouse for the last few years. 
as Mirably delivers, and this is hit in the air and handled by the third baseman, Emma Murphy, and that is the third and final out of the top half of the first inning. As we head to the bottom of the first, it's a scoreless playoff game between King Phillip and Hopkinton. Bottom of the first inning, the Hopkinton Hillers set to come up to the plate. Let's take a look at the lineup. Lily Morningstar leading things off. Katie Hawley batting second. Morningstar is the center fielder, Hawley the right fielder. Molly Bennett will bat third. She's playing shortstop. Kate Wilzell batting fourth, the catcher. Hitting fifth is Heather Hawley, the designated player. Sixth, the pitcher, Bree Mirabli. As the windup and the pitch is fouled away. It's Kaylee Magani on the mound. Kaylee McGain, excuse me, on the mound for King Phillip. Continuing on with the Hillers batting order, hitting seventh, Lindsey Whittles, the left fielder. Then you have Isabel Holden, the first baseman batting eighth, Emily Whalen, the second baseman batting ninth. The windup and the pitch, the bunt fouled away. 0 oh and 2. Nice field here at Taunton High School. As Morningstar will step back in with an 0 oh and 2 count. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs. 1 and 2. McGain is set to deal. Strike three, Morningstar goes down. One away, Katie Holly, the right fielder, coming up to the plate. And this should be a good pitcher's duel here tonight between Callie McGon and Bree Mirabli. McGon, a senior captain for King Phillip. As the windup and the pitch is up high for ball one. One out in the inning. As Hawley steps back into the batter's box. There's strike one, swinging strike there. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and one. Magani deals. Strike two. Callie McGain set to deliver the pitch. Swinging strike, two away. Two strikeouts to start things off for McGain. That'll bring up Molly Bennett, the shortstop. Let's take a look at the King Phillip field. Callie McGain, the pitcher, Elise Pereira over at first base. Megan Gorman, the second baseman. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike. At shortstop, Ashley Hessian. Third base, Jen Huntian. And we'll get you the rest in just a moment. Wind up and the pitch, upstairs. And left field, it's Brooke Tott. Center field, Christine Wagner. And in right field, Haley McCashlin. For the King Phillip Warriors, as there's a strike. Gain set to deal. Swinging strike, and she strikes out all three hitters. And we will head to the top half of the second, a scoreless game between King Phillip and the Hillers. Top half of the second inning as King Phillip will come back up to the plate. The six, seven, and eight hitters do up. Jen Huntian to start things off, the third baseman, and she will take a ball just outside and a late strike call excuse me oh and one 
Callie McGon McGain, the pitcher, is due up next as this is hit off of Mirabli's glove. She picks it up but has no play on it, and that is going to be a single for Huntian. That'll bring up Callie McGain. Ashley Hessian, the shortstop, due up next for King Phillip. As McGain steps in, going upstairs. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Set to deliver. And this is hit into left field. And that'll drop down for a base hit in front of Lindsey Whittles. Two straight singles for King Phillip. Huntian pushed up to second. That'll bring up Ashley Hessian. Good hitting team for King Phillip, and they've been known for their offense over the last few years. There's a discussion now with the umpire, and we're gonna have a pinch runner. Coming in to run is going to be Sidney Phillips, the sophomore, and we're gonna have double pinch runners. Over at first base, it is Brianna Lacey. So getting some speed on the base paths with a nice threat here. And stepping back into the batter's box is Hessian. Sun just starting to set here in Taunton. That pitch down low. One and O. Oh. Expect the infielders to be shifting over to third base. The steel threat on the base paths as that pitch in there for a strike. One and one. Rabley set to deal. That is upstairs. Two and one count. Line up and the pitch upstairs. Three and one. Runners taken off. Throw to second. Everybody's safe. And actually, that was a check in at second. Excuse me. Looked like the runners were going to take off, but she got back to the bag. And there's a walk, so that'll load up the bases with no outs. That'll bring up Megan Gorman, the second baseman. Line up and the pitch upstairs. One and oh. Rabley set to deal. Another pitch up high. Off her mark a little bit tonight. So far anyway. Two and O. Oh. As there's a strike, two and one. Line up and the pitch. Air strike two. Nice softball on the inside corner. Nice fastball, I should say. Mirabli deals, and this is hit in the air, and that is going to go off the glove of Lily Morningstar and drop down for a hit. One run in a score. So Huntian comes around to score. McGain up to third, Hessian up to second, Gorman to first with the RBI single, and that's questionable if that was an error or not. Line up in the pitch. 
pause in the action here. Rabley set to deal, fouled away. Oh, well, King Phillip on the board early and still threatening here. No outs, base is loaded. The 0-2 pitch, and that is sliced foul. Rabley deals, and this is up the middle, glove by Whalen, tags one, throw to first, and they are gonna call her safe at first. Another run does come around. McGain comes around. Gorman tagged out, Hessian the third, and it is an RBI single for Wagner. Two nothing, King Phillip. The bunt foul. At the plate now, Haley McCashlin. Set to deal, that pitch up high. And runner from first taking off for second. So a stolen base for Wagner. And this is on the ground, up the middle, glove by Willen, throw to first and they get one. But that is going to be another run for King Phillip as Ashley Hessian comes around to score. So a five to three sacrifice ground out for Haley McCashland. It's three nothing King Phillip. Elise Pereira to the plate. There's a swinging strike. Wagner up to third. That one upstairs. Two outs in the inning, three runs across. A pitch outside. Rabley set to deal, that one up high. There, strike three. She gets out of it, but not before. King Phillip able to plate three runs, and as we head to the bottom of the second, it is three to nothing. King Phillip over Hopkinton. Bottom of the second, the Hopkinton Hillers with some work to do. Leading things off, Kate Wellzell. As King Phillip able to strike for a few runs in the top half of the second inning. As McGain set to deal. Wide up in the pitch, swinging strike. Hiller's certainly gonna have to get the bats going in this one. McGain deals. Strike two. O and two. And there's strike three. Four straight strikeouts for McGain. And that'll bring up Heather Holly. Wide up and the pitch. Slice foul. Behind home plate. Ollie's waiting the pitch there, strike two. Oh, and two. So 
That one up high, but did she chase? No. Right up in the pitch, and that's hit foul. Stairs. On the ground, up the middle, gloved at short, throw to first, one out. Two outs, excuse me. They'll bring up Bree Mirabli. There's a strike. Three nothing lead for King Philip as again delivers and that is in the air and is it playable? Did she make that catch? And I do not think so as Mirabli sticking around. One and two. Wind up and the pitch upstairs. Hiller is going to need to get those bats going against this tough King Phillip offense. And this is third base side, picked up at short, throw to first. And a good play by the shortstop, Ashley Hessian. And that is the third out. Of the inning, we head to the top of the third. King Phillip leading the Hillers three to nothing. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control. Don't tolerate a pest problem. Eliminate your pest problem. Call that. You can call them at 508-366-1820 or find them online at wpcpest.com. Third inning, a three nothing lead for King Phillip. Lee Mirabli is set to deliver to Brooke Tott. And the first pitch is going to be ball one. Four, five, and six hitters do up for King Phillip. That one down low, two and oh. Mirabli deals just outside. Brooke Todd, Kelly Bench, and Jen Huntian do up for King Phillip. That went upstairs, another walk from Mirabli. Having a trouble finding the strike zone a little bit tonight. We'll bring up Kelly Bench. King Phillip with a pair of league leaders in the Hockamock hitting wise. But more on that in just a bit. That one is outside. Christina Wagner hitting a 480 on the season, and Haley McCaslin hit a 426 during the regular season. Good overall team for King Phillip as that one's fouled away. And then pitching wise, Callie McGain ranked second in the Hockamock, 13 and three overall. A .68 ERA, is that one outside, throw up, and that is going to be in time. Brooke Tott caught stealing, one out in the inning. Good throw 
by Wellzell. Killers with the same lineup as they've been going all postseason long. As count now three and one on bench. Rabley deals. That's fouled away. That'll fill up the count. Rabley on the mound. Will Zell behind home plate. Isabel Holden at first. Emily Whalen at second. Molly Bennett the shortstop. Emma Murphy at third. As this is hit in the air and Whalen's under it. Two away. Lindsay Whittles, uh, Lily Morningstar, and Katie Holly from left to right. Jen Huntian will step back in for her second time today. Hit a single and scored a run last inning. Takes a strike. Oh, and one. Rabley deals. Hit in the air, and that is foul. <laughs> oh, and two. Foul over towards us here on the third base side. Yeah, we've got to watch out today. Right in foul territory here. There's ball one. One two pitch. And that's fouled away. Good battle. Rabley has had to throw a good amount of pitches so far this evening. As this is hit over to shortstop, picked up, throw to first, not a problem. Six to three goes Huntian and that will retire the side in the top of the third. To the bottom of the third we go. King Phillip leading three to nothing. Bottom of the third inning. The Hillers back up at the plate. The wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike to Lindsey Whittles. It's the seven, eight, and nine hitters do up for the Hillers. 0 oh and 2 now. Callie McGain just throwing gas out there. Set to deal. That one upstairs. As I mentioned last inning, uh, McGain 13 and 3 during the season. Threw for 103 innings and two thirds. That one upstairs. 0.68 ERA. Led the Hockamock in strikeouts with 185. Pretty impressive numbers from the senior. As the captain set to deliver. And that is hit in the air. A high fly ball over to the second base side and handled. One away. Megan Gorman there. And that'll bring up Isabel Holden. Wind up and the pitch to Holden, swinging strike. Oh and one. Set to deliver. Just outside. One and one. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and one. Set to deliver. That one low as well. Three and one. There's strike two, it'll fill up the count. It's 
swinging strike. And that'll do it for Holden, two away. Emily Whalen now stepping into the plate for her first time today. Upstairs. One and oh. That one up high. Two and oh. There's a strike. Two and one. Upstairs, three and one. On the ground, third base side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, not a problem. Five to three goes Whalen, and that will retire the third inning as we will head to the top half of the fourth. Three nothing, King Phillip. Top half of the fourth inning as the Hopkinton Hillers look to quickly try to get back up to the plate, trailing three to nothing to King Phillip. As set to step in is the pitcher, Callie McGain. That one is down low, 1-0. and oh. Rabley deals. And this is rocketed foul down the third base side, 1-1. One and one. For those of you just tuning in, you are listening to the South Division One semifinals as this one's hit into center and it's above the reach of Lily Morningstar rounding first. She'll stay put with the single. And McGain aboard with her second hit of the day. That'll bring up Ashley Hessian. We're gonna have a pinch runner here for King Phillip. It's Mel Singer, the sophomore. That one down low. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. Checking at first, runner back safe. Rabley deals upstairs as Will Zell looks over towards first base. Bunt is down and it is fielded. Throw over to second is not in time. And actually, no, they're going to call her out. So just in time. Gain thrown out at second on the fielder's choice. One away, they'll bring up Megan Gorman. Rabley deals, hit in the air towards shallow center field. Great catch by Emily Whalen. Throw to first, double play. Nice job by Whalen, who has just been making unbelievable defensive plays all season long. And that will retire the top half of the fourth inning. We head to the bottom of the fourth. King Phillip leading Hopkinton three to nothing. 
HKM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. Hopkinton Drug is located at 52 Main Street. Bottom of the fourth inning, 3 0 King Phillip. As Lily Morningstar awaits the pitch and will take strike one. Good play to end the top half of the inning by Emily Whalen as. She reached out to make a catch of a liner heading towards center field and threw over to first for the double play. The bunt foul, 0-2. Top of the order due up for the Hillers. McGain set the deal of the Morningstar. And that's it, foul. <laughs> Line up and the pitch. Inside. One and two. the set and this is into left field between the left fielders legs and that'll drop in for a base hit throw to second and she is just ruled safe that was very close that'll turn into a double for Lily Morningstar and now Katie Holly to the plate well needed double, but that was very close. And a bunt is going to be strike one. So one on, no outs for the Hillers. And this is a bunt down the third base line. That was caught by the third baseman. And Morningstar, fortunately, near the second base bag, will just get back. One away, and Molly Bennett to the plate. Pitch to Bennett. Low, that'll pull the bunt back, one and oh. Set the deal, bunt down the first base side, foul. One and one. Hiller's threatening here, runner on second, one out. Line up and the pitch. The bunt up the middle, field it by the first baseman, foul. As the lights start to come on here at Taunton High School. Line up and the pitch, swinging strike. And a well needed second out for King Phillip. And that is going to bring up Kate Wellzell. We're here at Taunton High School, Jack Tripp Field for the South semifinals, this is hit in the air left side and ranging all the way over from shortstop is Ashley Hessian. She'll make the catch and that will retire the side in the fourth inning to the fifth we go, three nothing King Phillip. Top half of the fifth inning, King Phillip coming back up to the plate, a three nothing lead. As Mirabli set to deal, there's a Pitch that's going to be on the outside corner for ball one. Just a little bit outside there. Mirabli deals. And the running start right to Emily Whalen. Throw to first. Nice play by the freshman. And look out for her over the next few years. 
She has softball star written all over her. That'll bring up Haley McCashlin. Strike one. Line up and the pitch. That one up high. One and one to McCashlin. Rabley deals, running start down the third base side, throw to first, a little high, but it is in time. Nice job by Isabel Holden, able to keep her foot on the bag there. Two way, Elise Pereira to the plate. Rabley set to deal, that sliced foul, 0-1. Nice turnout here at Jack Tripp Field here in Taunton to watch the six seeded Hillers battle King Phillip. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul. Rabley set to deal. That's fouled as well. One and two. Rabley deals once again as just outside. King Philip the seventh seed. They went 18 and four during the regular season. Hopkinton the sixth seed. They went 17 and three. Is that one upstairs? To get to this point, King Philip had to win a few games. They beat out Somerset, Berkeley, and Taunton. That pitch down low, and there's a walk. Pereira gets a free pass to first. Brooke Tott to the plate, the left fielder. Taunton beat, or excuse me, King Philip beat Norwood in the first round, not Taunton. They beat Norwood five to nothing. And then they went on to beat Taunton three to nothing. As that went up high. One and O oh to Taut. That's fouled away, one and one. And for the Hillers to get to this point, they had to play back to back games due to a rain out. They beat Plymouth South one to nothing and then Walpole four to two. Both games which are available on the HCAM website. Is that pitch outside? HCAM.TV and also our YouTube page. Just go to YouTube.com, search for HCAM TV. And this is hit in the air towards shallow center field as Bennett ranges back and makes the play. And that will retire the side in the top half of the fifth inning. To the bottom of the fifth we go. The Hillers have some work to do, trailing three to nothing. First pitch of the inning, hit right at the second baseman and got by her. And she was not able to get the throw off in time. And that is questionable if that was a hit or an error by Heather Hawley. I'll score it a hit for now, get the official ruling later. And that'll bring up Bree Mirabli. So an opportunity here for the Hillers, no outs, one on. As we are in the bottom half of the fifth inning, Hillers trailing 3 0. As Coach Kylie Murray just signaling down to Mirabli. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. And 
And there's another strike. And Emma Murphy is, I believe, in the game to pinch run there for Holly. And indeed she is. Line up in the pitch. Check swing. Did she hold? Mm. And they're going to say no. 0 oh and 2. Line up in the pitch. And this is hit up the middle. Picked up by the second baseman. Flipped to first for one. Throw to second. Almost got the other runner. But she is going to safely slide back to the bag. So a 4-3 to three for Mirabli. And Emma Murphy, pinch running for Heather Holly, advances to second. And that will bring up Lindsay Whittles. That's fouled away. Wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike. Down low. <laughs> Stepping back in. That's it in the air, foul. Lindsey Whittle's a junior. He's been a big part of this team this year. That's hit foul. Emma Murphy over at second base. Line up and the pitch. That's hit in the air towards right center, towards the fence. And it's off the glove of the right fielder. Murphy is going to advance to third. And it's going to be second and third for the Hillers with one out. So that is an error that allows Whittles to reach. Emma Murphy pinch running for Heather Holly advances to third. One out, Isabel Holden to the plate. And now we'll have a timeout, a discussion as head coach for King Philip. Norm Buscemin will come out and talk to the infield. But that is exactly what the Hillers need right there to try to get some momentum going. They've been struggling with the bats, and it's been a tough ride for the Hillers offensively. They've faced three good pitchers, three very good pitchers in the postseason so far, including today's matchup. But now with a big opportunity here is Isabel Holden, who has been hitting nicely in the postseason. As McGain is set to deal, the bunt is going to be strike one. Perhaps maybe the Hillers going to attempt a suicide squeeze here. Try to at least plate one run. Line up and the pitch, swinging strike, 0 and 2. Again, set to deal. There's strike three, two away. But now you got Emily Whalen coming up who has been good as of late offensively. 
And she has certainly been clutch for the Hillers all season long, offensively and defensively. Big opportunity here. That one outside. One and oh. Whalen awaits the pitch. Hit in the air, it is in fair territory right over the head of the shortstop, Ashley Hessian, who makes the catch for the third out of the inning. We head to the top of the sixth. Hillers trailing three to nothing. Top half of the sixth inning. King Phillip back up to the plate. And stepping in is Brianna Lacey, and she was the flex player, so they will lose that uh, flex role. Brianna Lacey, the catcher. And this is hit above Mirabli, picked up by Whalen. High throw, but in time, and a nice job by Holden tracking it down. A four to three ground out for Brianna Lacey, and that'll bring up Jen Huntian. So King Phillip loses the flex spot with that move, having catcher hit. And that was in place of the designated player, Kaylee Beach. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, foul. Just above us. Rabley set the deal. That one just outside. One and one on Huntian. That one's foul, one and two. All right, Hillers down to their final six outs. As we are in the top of the six, Hillers trailing three nothing. Tom Nappy on the call. South Division One semifinals. This is for a bit of the South Division One championship. Is that one outside? Line up and the pitch. This is hit in the air over towards the fence, and that is going to drop just in front of the fence. And that is going to be a long base hit, a double. King Phillip in business. That one dropped just in front of left fielder Whittles, and that'll bring up Callie McGain, the pitcher. So double, one out double for King Phillip. It's now the one out pitch. One just outside. Two and O. Oh. Rabley deals. That's hit foul off the light post. Two and one. King Phillip trying to add some insurance here. This is hit in the air, and that is ranging over to center field, and the dive by Whittles and left, and she is not able to come up with it. It's going to be first and third for King Phillip. So a single from McGain, and Hunyan pushes up to third, Ashley Esch into the play. One out, two runner on situation. That was a good dive attempt though by Whittles, just unable to get there in time. Ball dropped just in front of her dive. Line up and the pitch. And there's a strike. 
Oh, and one. Rabley deals. That's foul, 0 and 2. Rabley delivers outside, runner taking off from first, throw over, caught stealing, two away. Second time a King Phillip runner has been caught stealing in this game. Big break for the Hillers there. That one upstairs. I don't know why you're still in that situation. You got the 3-0 lead and you were in a one-out situation. See if you can get a hit and drive in those runs. There's a strike, throw down a third, not in time. And that is gonna do it for the inning. That is a strikeout for Hessian. And that will retire the top half of the six. To so the bottom of the six we go, the Hillers down to their final six outs, trailing three nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning as the Hillers have some work to do. Lily Morningstar stepping in top of the order. As McGain set to deliver and it's a bunt up the middle, picked up by McGain, throw to first in time. One away. Katie Holly to the plate. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air above the head of the shortstop and she will rope that one in no problem. Two away. Molly Bennett to the plate. Oh, not what the Hillers exactly wanted there. Two quick outs. Line up and the pitch. Swinging strike, 0 and 1. Hillers with two hits in the game. Swinging strike, 0 and 2. Bennett steps back in. Upstairs. Just outside, two and two. That's it, foul. Eight hits for King Phillip. And that one just low. Working up the count. Now full to Bennett. Line up and the pitch, and that is foul. Count remains full. Two outs, three and two. Line up and the pitch, there's strike three. And that will retire the bottom half of the sixth inning. To the seventh we go, three nothing King Phillip. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries located at 93 East Main Street. Visit their garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford. You can find them online at westonnurseries.com. Top half of the seventh inning. King Phillip back up to the plate. Trying to add some security to their 3-0 lead. 
And you have to give Callie McGain a lot of credit. She is pitching a tremendous game as this one's foul right at us. And that'll make it 0-1. That one down low, one and one. The dangers of baseball and softball. And this is hit in the air. This is foul right towards us. And almost a great catch by a fan. One and two. That one outside, two and two. Down low, full count. Bradley deals. And this is foul, heads up everybody. Good battle going on here. She's just pulling it. This is the lefty. Excuse me, the righty. Rabley deals. And this is third base side, and it is going to be fair. And that is going to be a single for Megan Gorman, and that'll bring up Christina Wagner. Nice piece of hitting there after a good battle with Mirabli. And this has been a nice pitcher's duel here tonight, as expected. As this is hit in the air, a high fly ball. First base side and out of the reach of Holden. The 0-1 pitch. There's strike two, throw to second, and the runner's safe on the stolen bag. Rabley delivers. Outside, and a throw down uh, the line to make sure the runner stayed put. Wind up in the pitch. And this is up the middle off of Mirabli. Picked up by Will and high throw. And I think everybody's safe. And she is. First and third now as Gorman pushes up. I'll bring up Haley McCashlin. That's the one thing Emily Whalen has to work on those high throws. Keep that throw down. Besides that, a fantastic player. Pitch to McCashlin. There's a strike, throw to third, almost got the runner. And that was for the distraction for Wagner to take off to second, so now two in scoring position with no outs. And this is hit in the air towards center field and it is caught. The throw home is going to hold up the runner, so one away. Both runners remain in scoring position. That'll bring up Elise Pereira. Megan Gorman at third, Christina Wagner at second. Line up and the pitch. Outside. The 1-0 pitch, that's foul, one and one. <laughs> Set to deliver, upstairs. Outside, three and one. 
Bradley having a tough time to get getting through this seventh inning. One out, two on. And this is hit in the air, a high fly ball to left field. And it'll be caught by Whittles. The throw home is going to be right to Elzell, but it takes her off the mark and the run will score. So a uh, sacrifice fly out for Pereira and it's four nothing King Phillip. Wagner up to third, two outs in the inning. Brooke taught to the plate. Line up and the pitch outside. Rabley deals. There's a strike, one and one. Throw down a third, almost got her. Runner back just safe. One, one pitch. That's fouled away. One and two. There's a ball, two and two. And this is hit in the air towards center field and handled by Morningstar. The throw in, and that is going to retire the top half of the seventh, but not before King Phillip adds some insurance. Four nothing, heading into the bottom of the seventh. The Hillers down to their final three outs. Bottom of the seventh inning, the Hillers down to their final three outs. Bremer Rabley at the plate. And first pitch, a swinging strike, 0 and 1. 4 nothing lead for King Phillip. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air to left field and caught. One away. I apologize, that was Kate Wilzell at the plate. Now Heather Holly to the plate. And Coach Murray going to talk to the umpire. Not quite sure about what. Line up in the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Callie McGain trying to finish off a gem. Two outs away from advancing to the South Division I championship is King Phillip. This is hit in the air, right side. First baseman ranging over makes the catch. Two outs. Hillers down to their final out. Bree Mirabli to the plate now. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air right side. Follows it in play, no. Out of the reach of the right fielder. 0 oh and 1. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air towards center and that is going to drop down for a base hit. Hiller is not done yet. There's a single for Mirabli. That'll bring up Lindsey Whittles. Third hit of the game for Hopkinton. Lined up and the pitch. And this is third base side out of the reach of anybody, 0 and 1. Whittles 0 for 2 this game, reached on an error in the eighth. Line 
Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, 0 and 2. Pillars down to their final strike. Silver Lake and Bishop Fien getting ready to play next. That's the other semifinals game. That one's fouled away. Count remains 0 and 2. Callie McGain set to deal. And this is a liner off the glove of the second baseman. Runners on first and second. How about that? Ehlers not ready to go down just yet. And now you have Isabel Holden coming to the plate. Swinging strike. Oh, and one. Gain deals. There's strike two. Fouled away. Two on, two outs. Foul. Count remains two and two. Holden steps back in. Strike three and that'll do it. King Phillip has advanced. The Hopkinton Hillers season will come to an end but what a great season it was by the Hopkinton Hillers. They'll finish 19 and four overall, but an outstanding season getting all the way to this point, having to win two playoff games in a row to get to this point. Very impressive by the Hopkinton Hillers and a lot of great young players to look forward to as next season approaches, but a great season overall by the Hillers and congratulations to first year head coach Kylie Murray and assistant coach Bruce Elliott they did a tremendous job with this team. They were a whole lot of fun to watch. And it was our pleasure to bring you Hopkinton Hillers softball in what was a truly fun year to be a part of. The final score for the final time, King Phillip defeats Hopkinton four to nothing. Congratulations to King Phillip. They're advancing to the South Division I championship. For all of our HCAM crew, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers softball all season long. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody, and have a good night.